Hey everybody, Will's back here again. And today I'm going to be doing the real Phantom review. You guys may or may have not seen uh, the Phantom trailer review, but uh, the reason I did a trailer for that is because I was having upload problems. It wouldn't upload, you know, wouldn't let me upload anything besides the first minute of the video. So I bring you the real Phantom review today. And as I said in the trailer, it is called The Phantom, obviously. It came out in 2014. It is set number 75048. And it cost about $25 here in the U.S. And it also contains, let's see, how many pieces? 233. So, let's, or wait, no, 234, my mistake. Anyway, here are your two mini figures that you get. First one is Ezra Briggs. And he's got that nice jacket piece right there. And a nice leg printing. There's the back. And it looks to me like a bird logo. And that reminds me a whole lot of Samurai X's logo. From Ninjago. And his helmet does come off. You can see his face. There's his other side. Which kind of looks... I don't know. Ridiculous. And he does come with hair right here. You can just snap that on. There he is. But I way rather prefer the helmet on, I think. This is just a cool Stormtrooper helmet. So that is Ezra Briggs. Next minifigure we have is C-110P, otherwise known as Chopper. And this is a really, really small astromech droid. I actually have R2-D2 to compare it to. So here's R2-D2, and then here's Chopper. I'll just set him right there. Right away, you'll be like, wow, that is a small astromech. And, yeah, he's got smaller legs right there. There's the bottom. They actually had to put this piece in because he's so small that they had to put this in. Which is kind of funny. And also, he's got that nice astromech head right there. There's the top. So that is Chopper, and he's got tons of detailing right there, which is nice. So those are your minifigures. Let's take a look at the set. Alright, so here's the Phantom. And I think that this is a really nice ship. It's I think $25 is a great deal for this. So, I think I'm going to show you the front first. Got those really nice guns right there. This nice cockpit that is printed. And you got these nice stickers right there. And they seem to be the same logo that were on his jacket. And it does disconnect into like an escape pod right here. It's very nice. That's how it just connects. These holes connect right there into that. This does open like that. And there is um, the control panel, which is nice. And that's a sticker piece, by the way. Or sticker. And there aren't very many stickers in the set, which is great. Because a lot of sets that cost maybe $20 contain a lot of stickers usually there's the light so that is like the first part here's the second part right here and you know what I think I'll just put this back on so you guys can see it with the wings out because right now it was in landing mode like that but when you lift up the wings that is flight mode and you got these stickers right here on both sides <clears throat> and the wings do fold up very nicely and then up here, you got that sticker right there. And you also have a spring-loaded shooter. And like I showed in many other reviews, you just tap this very nicely. And it just shoots. And you do get an extra one that I already lost. So it is nice that they um, give you extras because I tend to lose them. And I bet a lot of other people do. And right back here, you see the engines. That's the same piece they used for Chopper's head, but in black. I'll fold up the wings so I can show you guys a little bit better. And this does open up right here. Just like that. And that is where Chopper sits. And that's where um, Ezra's gun and uh, helmet are. So I'll put that back on. And you can even open this part up right there. The flap. So that is the Phantom from Lego Star Wars. Tell me in the comments what you think of the set, and I will catch you guys later.